Okay, welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm going to be doing the war you have all been waiting for. We've got the GoPro Hero 9 Black, brand new, straight from GoPro, and he's turned on. Hey GoPro, turn off. And the Zoom Crane Plus, and the Sony A6300, and this is going to be a comparison between the two. So we're going to have Boost Hyper Smooth on the GoPro and the gimbal footage with the Sony. So obviously the gimbal's not on right now, just for this little comparison. What a creature. Two great creatures. So what I'll be doing is walking around with this. Obviously this has loads of different modes. I may as well turn it on. Here we go. So this is just its standard mode. So this is kind of equal to what GoPro has. If it had its horizon lock on, see, the horizon should stay level. GoPro, stop turning on. Anyway, so... GoPro, stop recording. Hey, GoPro, stop, stop the hyperlapse. Hey, GoPro, stop the hyperlapse. Good, good dog. Things like a pet. We'll have another mode where the gimbal is completely... Oops, sorry. The gimbal is completely locked, like you cannot move the camera at all other than when you use the joystick and that will be hard for the GoPro to compete with for any like straight on shots and then last but not least we have the follow mode which is kind of what the GoPro's hyper smooth is because as you see it just it follows whatever type of movement you want but it's going to be a cool comparison I'll have what mode I've got this on and this on um, they'll both be shooting 4K 30 frames a second, and yeah, so without further ado, we'll get into the comparison. So these are the exact settings that I'll be using on the GoPro. So as you can see, I will have the GoPro set, not on 5K, cinematic, which is 4K 30 linear plus horizon lock. So that should give the best stabilization for it to compete with the Sony. Now I'll show you the settings I use for the Sony. I'm using XAVCH4K, 30 frames a second, uh, and yeah, that's the settings I'm using on the Sony. So if you wanna have a look, these are both just will be shooting completely on auto as well. And I have the flat color profile on the GoPro as well. So yeah. Okay, so the first shot that these two are going to do, what I'm going to shoot with, is going from down low near the fins of this old surfboard and moving backwards just to the edge of these steps. And then we're going to walk down the steps and we'll, then we'll do a load more shots here. And we'll try out some different modes. I'll do a bit of 5K as well compared to the 4K on the crane. And yeah, we'll see what does better. I think the GoPro will not have quite as good image quality as the Sony, but we could see some surprising hyper smooth results with this guy because quite good stabilization. So yeah, we better cut the clip. Hey GoPro, start recording. So this is walking down the steps, audio th from the GoPro, and this is audio from the Sony. So I'm going to go round a bend now, see how they both perform, up close to a flower, walk backwards, drop them down low, walk round, off another little drop down. Keep in mind I'm not trying to walk smooth at all. Out onto the road and now we're going to spin around and we're going to run up this path. So three, two, one, go. So 
love that look on both cameras. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a comparison with the GoPro's 5K compared to the Sony's 4K. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, I'll be comparing both of those bits of footage. I'll just do separate shots, probably down little flowers and stuff and all the stuff down there. Yeah. Okay, so this is the new GoPro 5A. How's it looking on all of these wattle trees as I point to the sky through all of this? How's the new GoPro 5K looking? This is 5K field of view wide boost stabilization on. And then I'm going to try 5K linear on the GoPro right now. So this is the new GoPro 5K linear. Do you see any difference to the Y? And then I'm going to try the linear with horizon leveling. Okay, so this is the new horizon leveling on the GoPro 9. As you can see, as I tilt the camera, the horizon stays steady. And now we'll switch to the GoPro's view. So this is the 5K with horizon leveling. I am moving the camera side to side as you just saw. And the footage, this is incredible. It's like it is on a gimbal. As I look at the sky, I'll see if anything else changes. As I still tilt, it's still staying level, which is incredible. So this footage should turn out pretty nice. Okay, last but not least, this is now narrow, no horizon leveling, as you can see. But narrow boost stabilization 5K. As we look up. And I will now compare a similar shot to this with the Sony to see what you guys reckon has better image quality. Okay, so this is audio coming straight from the Sony. As I said, we're looking at the sky, walking through the trees. What do you guys think of this image quality as we move it around? Look at some of these waddles close up. There we go. Now I'm going to dip down low walk close to the ground. This is low shot with the Sony. How does it compare to the low shot with the GoPro 9? Sweet! Um, that's it. So what do you think of the new GoPro 5K? This is still in narrow. I can see I'm in the frame because of the new front screen, but this is 5K, 30 frames a second, narrow, and yeah, what's it looking like?